today's cooking video, I'm going to be making puto flan. So this recipe came from a childhood friend of mine. We've been friends for six years and it's been a while since I've met her. I contacted her via messenger to get the recipe and the very first time I asked her was to give me the best, uh, the recipe of her best seller in the delicacies that she sells. But unfortunately, she cannot share it to me because it's a family trade secret. So instead, I asked her for any recipes that she has and that she currently and still sells up until now. So this was the recipe that she gave to me. And I hope you will enjoy this video for today. This recipe is easy and simple to do at home with very few ingredients. And it's very versatile since you can incorporate your own little twist to it. But I'm going to stick to the recipe that she's going to give me. So that would be all. Bye! Enjoy the video! The ingredients for our puto flan only contains four. The following are... We're going to need four egg yolks. Then 2 tablespoons of calamansi juice. You can add a dash of vanilla extract which is optional. Our last ingredient is a can of condensed milk. The procedure for our flan mixture is pretty simple. All we need to do is mix all of the ingredients and make sure everything is well incorporated. The next step we're doing here is putting our flan mixture into our puto molds and steam them for about 10 to 15 minutes. And when your boiling water is ready, we can now steam our flan. So in my case, you can see I am only using a rice cooker instead of having it in a stove top. So I steamed my flan here for 12 minutes. Let's now prepare for our puto mixture. We have 2 cups of all-purpose flour. Four egg whites, one half teaspoon salt, four teaspoon baking powder, vanilla extract is optional, two thirds cup of granulated sugar, and one and one fourth cup of water. In this clip, I was explaining on how to do our puto mixture but somehow my mic was not working so I'll do it in this voiceover. So all we're going to do is mix all of our dry ingredients first and then incorporate our wet ingredients. While mixing our puto mixture just make sure that you don't
music. As you can see, our flan is already cooked. So what I'm doing next is I'm putting my puto mixture on top of our flan. I only put one and a half tablespoons each mold to make sure that it doesn't overflow as it cooks. are going to steam our puto here for about 15 minutes or until you see that it has a shiny dome on top. After 15 minutes, this is what our puto looks like. Now in this clip, I am explaining to you the step. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to loosen the puto flan from the mold by using a knife. After loosening up your puto flan from the mold, what I did here was I squeezed the sides gently and tap like the bottom of the mold to get the puto flan out. What I did here was I just repeated the process just like what I did from the very beginning. Put in the flan mixture into the puto mold and then steam them for 10 to 15 minutes. And then after the flan is cooked, you incorporate your puto mixture and, and cook it and steam it for 15 minutes or until it has a shiny dough on top. 